to a happy summer, busy hands, and engaged minds. And today, Christine McKay is hooking us up with simple kids' crafts you can prepare now and have on hand for those slow summer afternoons. Your kids have been out of school, what, a few days? A few days. And you've already heard... Mom, I'm bored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The phrase that we all dread, right? Yes, Come yes, summertime. completely. You know, and I just have to tell you, we are all kids at heart. And sometimes kids' crafts are so fun because you can kind of let go and be a little creative. And um, so me and my kids, we, we kind of put together some of these and just had such a good time. And my favorite one probably is called the... I'm bored jar <laughs> and I really have used this already at my house so we've already pulled it out yes when my kids come to me and say mom I'm bored I get to say do you want to take a chance oh and if they say yes they can reach in there pull one out bro okay you never know what you're going to get from the board jar. Decorate an old t-shirt. Hey that sounds like fun. That would be really fun. Can I do yeah, a few grab more? another one. We've got jump rope for 20 minutes. Hey, that one's pretty fun. All right, do 25 jumping jacks. Yeah. You're making them work you're, here. Well, you know, you're getting all the fun ones. <laughs> I don't know what this means. I'm getting all the work, <laughs> the workout assignments. Build a fort out of blankets. Yeah. So fun. So, you know, you have some good on board take a chance look because mm -hmm. there are some in here that are go clean out the garage. Oh. Go clean your room. Clean mom's room. <laughs> so, you know what? They're going to think twice before they come to you and say, Mom, I'm bored. And this is just out of an old, this is actually a, an old bubble gum uh, container, but you can use any plastic container. As always, all of the labels and the, the slips are available at kmkdesigns.com. But this is just a really fun way, so they will say so You can twice. download this, print this out, wrap it around any jar you have yes. in the house, because Christine's the queen of repurposing. Love repurposing. And you've got a I'm Bored bucket yes. here so for your kids. And we're not punishing. They're fun activities no, it's as well. Fun. You know, they can roll the dice. They we can go with it. We just don't want to hear I'm bored. Exactly. Okay, what else? Okay, one of the other things that we did, um, this is probably one of my very favorite ones, and I, I wish I would have brought my little guy to demonstrate these, because I don't think you or I are brave enough. Uh -oh. But what they are is, these are made out of 20 ounce or uh, tin cans that are painted and covered with paper. Okay. And they are tin can stilts. So what oh, you'll do no, is I'm you, not put brave your foot, you put your feet here and you hold onto the handles and then you walk. <laughs> and my little guy had the funnest time with these. And they're really easy to make. What you want to do is rinse out the tin can really well, uh -huh. fill it with water about up to here and freeze it. Now the reason why you want to do that is because you want to take a hammer and nail to punch the hole. And it's just a lot easier to do if it's got frozen ice inside so you don't smash the can. The ice is going to be your base. Exactly. It's going to be your base. Give it some sturdy, make it sturdy, punch your holes. Then of course, um, you just run hot water over it, empty out the ice, and cover uh -huh. and decorate. And Darling. I just, my little guy had so much fun with this. You just wrap the paper around. Wrap the paper around, or you can just paint it and do stencils. Okay, now if you have a headache, this is not the project to choose on a board afternoon, right? Um, You're going to hear so clinking. Much. You're going to hear clinking, but mommy can always shut the door and go read it. Very nice. That's darling. Don't That's take really parenting fun. tips from me. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so one of my other ones, this is, we, I have two games on here that you can download, and these are all the game instructions. I just wanted to go over these really quickly. This is called a pocket scavenger hunt. Okay. And it is made out of just an old uh, Altoid tin. Now, Brick, you want to open that up. Mm -hmm. You can have up to 20 players because there's 20 cards that you can download and print out. So, Brick, you take a card. Okay. And I'll take a card. And you can put pad and paper on the back if you want to, but you don't have to. So, on, um, we say one, two, three, go. And we, who, the one that's back the quickest with whatever's on your card I is the winner. I have a sock, a pillow, and a spoon. And I've got a notebook, a stuffed animal, and a can. So if you can imagine the madness, everyone runs. Whoever's back with the three items first wins. That is fun. And Isn't you've just done like, these out of basic paper you have laying around. It's just paper that you can print out at home. And I always try to be printer friendly because I know that, uh, you know, you don't want to print out a lot of ink. It costs right. money. So I always try to use the least amount of ink possible, but fun little games that you can print out right at home. And all tucked in a cute little Altoid can. This one is just tons of fun. This one's called Fib Lab, where fibbing is encouraged. Oh, good. And so this also has, you can download all of the cards online. Let me open them. There we go. And there are four different categories. So for instance, I'm going to grab a people card. Okay. So that's Darren. I'm going to grab an object card. Oop, we got a bowling ball. I'm going to add a word card. Okay. Scaredy cat. And let's see, we'll just grab a place, the library. And so your, ch your child has 90 seconds to come up with a great story or a fib, and they have to use all of these components in their story. And then everyone playing can pick and choose of who the, the story, which story was the best. Oh, that is a blast. Of course, on the people category, you're wanna, going to want to include all the members of your family yes. and family, neighbors. Family, friends, neighbors, maybe favorite celebrities. So just, it's Darren really was fun. not a scaredy cat. He uh, used his bowling ball in the library. That and was I bet mean. he got in trouble. And he maybe did. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we want to emphasize both of these games. You 
you can download yes. all of the elements for free. Um, there are over 20 projects, and I made a little, it's a little, uh, it's my very first e-booklet. So you can download this, and it has over 20 projects inside, some of which you can see on the table. So you can just print this out, and then pick and choose, and there's enough to last you all summer on just those boring days. Oh, Christine, you're fabulous. Let's touch through some of these projects yeah. quickly if we can. Okay. Oh, let's talk about this one really quickly. This one, it was, this I so love clever. this one. This is made out of two tuna fish cans, and I have to say, one of your viewers actually sent me this idea. Her name's Tiffany, and I just loved it. It's two tuna fish cans that are just covered with paper. Um, and a mesh screen that you can get at any hardware store. You roll the mesh screen, hot glue it, secure it into the bottom so it's glued in there, mm -hmm. and then you turn the other lid upside down and it's the it's the top. So Isn't they that go clever? catch all their little bugs and keep it inside. All right, my sister Lindsay was the potato bug queen uh, growing up, so she would have loved this. All right, what's this little salt shaker thing? This one, oh my gosh, this is so cute. All the little girls in my neighborhood were having fun making these. This is out of an old um, cake sprinkle uh, jar. Okay. And it's perfect for bugs because it already has the little holes on the top for the oh. breathing. I used uh, crocodile, which is a hole punch, uh, on both sides, threaded some ribbon through. The little band you can download as well and print out and wrap around the jar. And you can keep your it's a little necklace. You can keep your little ladybugs in there. Close to your heart. Isn't that fun? And this I'm All About Me okay. book is fun as well. Love this. This is, you know, we like to journal for our kids, mm -hmm. but it's fun to hear our kids' stories in their words, but sometimes their words are a little hard. So I did a drawing journal. Darling. So they get to draw on each page um, their favorite activity. If I were president, I would. And then you can help them write on below and attach a photos on the other side. But my favorite part is the front. Look at this. You print out this little circle and your child can draw the face and then you just attach the little googly How eyes. How cute are those eyes? Oh, we love them. Christine Darling and really hours of entertainment. This book can be an ongoing going work and, that's, really. and that's, that's what I love. Like, not only are they going to have fun making the project, they're going to have fun using it and playing with it all summer. And it's becoming memories. Okay, Christine, thank you so thank much. Thank you. All of the downloads we've been enticing you with are available on Christine's website, kmckdesigns.com. We'll link you there from our website as well.